Good day everyone, my name is Peter Ivan Pinados and today I will discuss to you my uh, analysis of the story that thief who became a disciple. Before that, let's has first have our prayers. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you, God, for the day that you have given in us. We thank you, Lord, for the life. Uh, the new breath. Lord, we thank you for your guidance and we ask uh, today as we will go deeper to our lessons, help us and uh, give us wisdom and understanding, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for guiding us, leading us always. Uh, we thank you for, uh, for your mercy and grace. We thank you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And in, the, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we go to our discussion, I will ask you first on a one question. How will you react if a, if a man or an intruder came into your life demanding for your possession over your life? Give a comment to a section below. So, the thief who became a disciple. So, the, the content of this analysis are, first, background of the work second is author's background third is the character web fourth is characterization fifth is the plot the next is the styles of the author the next is the themes the next is cultural implication and the last one is the implication of the title so let's go to the background of the work the thief who became a disciple is about a ma man named Sichiri Kojon, who was reciting sutras and a thief with a sharp sword and third. So the thief told Sichiri to give him all his money, and Sichiri told him that he could take it, but leave him some so he could pay his taxes. The thief took half of, half of and thanked Sichiri for the money. The thief was caught. So Sitri went to the court and told the people that the thief didn't steal his money. He gave it to him as a gift. So the thief, the, but the, the thief still went to jail. But after he finished his term or his prison term, he became Sitri's disciple. So the next one is the author's background. Zin Stories is composed of 101 stories. That is compilation of Zen koans of 1919, including 19th and 20th century anecdotes, compiled by Nyojen Senzaki and a translation of Sashi Kishu, written in 30, 13th century by Japanese Master Moju. So Master Moju Dokyu in, is born on January 1st, 2012, uh, 12, and died on November 99, year 1312. He was a Buddhist monk of Japanese Kamukura period, born in the privilege of Kajiwara family. Began his service by becoming a page at Jufukuji at the age of 13. So, actually, this the the this story that Tifo became a disciple. Uh, I've searched throughout, through uh, all throughout in the internet, but I I haven't seen any any authors of this uh, story. So the next is the characters character web. So as you can see, Sichir Kojon is a monk, and the man or the man right there is the thief. So the knife or for the legend. The knife symb uh, symbolizes or give us representation of being uh, being a thief, and the the beads give us representation of being a disciple. So, the characterization: Sitri Kojon. Sitri Kojon is a monk who's reciting sutras, or uh, Sitri Kojon is a monk who is in praying. Uh, a Buddhist scripture. Sutras is a Buddhist scripture. The thief or the intruder, an intruder that takes the money of Sichri Kojon. The next, the plot. Let us let us go to the plot. 
One evening, Asichi Kojon was reciting sutras, a thief with a sharp sword entered demanding either his money or his life. Sichi told him, don't disturb me, you can find the money in the drawer. So, while, while Sichi Kojon was reciting sutras or in praying, while in praying, a thief or an intruder came to him uh, demanding all his uh, all his money, all his uh, all his possession, or his life, or to, uh, for him not to, for Sichiri not to be killed. So Sichiri told him, "Don't disturb me. You can find the money in the drawer." So a little while after, he stopped and called, "Don't take it all. I need some to pay taxes with tomorrow." So such while. Well, while in praying, Sichiri, Sichiri Kojon, Sichiri uh, stopped praying and called uh, and said to the intruder or the thief, Don't take it all. Don't take it all. I need some to pay my taxes tomorrow. So, so the intruder gathered up most of the money and started to leave. The, then Sichiri said, Thank a person when you receive a gift. The man thanked him and made off. A few days afterward, the man was caught and confessed, among others, this offense against, uh, against Sichiri. So, of course, the man was caught and, and the offense of uh, the scenario, the situation happened in Sichiri's temple is also an added, to the, added to the offense, which is of uh, I remember it was called the robbery. Then, then this man, then when Sichiri was called as a witness, he said, This man is no thief, at least not as far as I am concerned. I gave him the money and he thanked me for it. So, instead of uh, opposing to the thief, Sichiri Kozen was siding to the thief. And after he had after he had finished his present term, the man went to Sichiri and became his disciple. So of course, after the man was after the present man, the the, the present man of uh, Sichiri Kozon, of Sichiri Kozon, the man went to Sichiri and became his disciple. So the styles of the author. First is the conflict. I I give it man versus man because right there it was. Uh, it was Sichiri and the thief who is uh, who is in who is in uh, in battling, right? Of course, Sichiri Kozon was a prey. Of course, if you are uh, if you are a person who is uh, whose intruder came into your life and asking for your life or your possession, of course you will be in 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 trouble. Of course, so so. So man versus man, since uh, Sichiri Kozon and the thief was against each other, then I also uh, I also will give it man versus nature because nature somehow so when we say nature, it is uh, the nature of being a man. Of course, when you are a man and you are exposed to the to a community who is a crook or a people who is a, a people who's what we, what we call that a people who is exposed or doing such things stealing or robbing some things and of course you will be influenced by them then that that will be a man versus man versus nature because uh, somehow na it is nature of a man we could also say that nature of being a man to steal a things then and the last the styles of the author uh, the, the second styles of the author is the flashback when Sidri appeared in the court and state that the man is not a thief for he gives the money in his own free will and the man gave thanks for Sidri's kindness of course uh, when Sidri was uh, in in a courtroom and in a courtroom and states and calling for he, the with uh, being a witness of course he was he was telling us that 
the man is not a thief. He, he was telling us uh, to look backward on what really happened in a scenario, in a situation, in what really happened in the temple. And the lesson is the foreshadowing. After the imprisonment of the man, he go back to C3 and became his disciple. Of course, when when uh, when a man was a man was in is already a disciples of the a disciples of Sichiri Sichiri Kojon. And of course, in a long run or in the future, he will become a, a, a monk. He will become he will become a good examples and he he will have a good testimony on how he was convinced on, on being a monk by the leading of Sichui Kozon. It gives us a foreshadow. The next one is the themes. So, good triumphs over evil. I give it good triumphs over evil since since it literally uh, it literally give us imagination that Siche, uh, being a monk will gonna be uh, being a monk uh, triumphs over the thief right a uh, 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 good good triumphs over evil since since uh, good defeats the thief right and aside from that good triumphs over evil you can you can say that a lot of us a lot of us um, a lot of us, especially when temptation comes, when challenges comes, uh, the good sides of us, uh, the good sides of us will overcome. So that is why good triumphs over evil. And the next one is, you don't have to steal to get what you want. All you have to do is ask for it. These give us thoughts that uh, instead of stealing, we should be, uh, we should just do asking. Instead of stealing something, we should rather be asking for it. Then, the last one is free will controls your mind and emotions. Of course, of course, uh, we lo uh, look back on what really happens on Sitri and the thief in the temple while Sitri was, uh, was reciting sutras. Of course, that scene, that scene gives us that uh, the emotions, the emotions right there, and the, the feelings of uh, the emotions and the feelings of Sichui Kozon. Of course, when you are in when, while, if you are Sichui Kozon, you will be gonna be scared. You know, you don't, you will gonna be afraid of what will happen. But uh, the free will or the, the the minds of the minds and emotions of Sichui Kozon con, um, controls him. Uh, the free will also. Uh, every one of us has our own uh, has our own uh, reactions to that certain situation, but it 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 will be it will become, but it should be rather become on our own free will. It is from our own free will. The next is the cultural implication. Cultural implication: the heart of a giver like Sichiri Kojon. It really gives us. Uh, it implies to us that. Uh, it implies to us that all people, all people is really have a heart of being a giver, uh, being a giver. Of course, of course. From, from the Bible says. The Bible says, God bless those who are cheerful giver. So that is why a heart of a giver like Sitri Kozon implies to us uh, implies to every one of us then the, le the next one is the Buddhist tradition and culture of course while 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 Suchiri Kozon was reciting sutras it really it, it gives us a, a broad uh, broad spectrum a broad a broad imagine a broad imaginations that as that 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 thing is a uh, tradition and culture of being a Buddhist. Then the, the the next one is an act of free will. Of course, as what I have said earlier, that every one of us has our own free will. And then the last one, 
I really love this uh, cultural implication since it gives us a uh, situation cause and it uh, helps us imagine and uh, helps us deter determine on how to be a good leader. And that's it, that is leadership. Because Sichiri Kozan was, uh, he was not saying that you, you can be my, you can be my uh, sub, sub, subordinate, you can be my next, um, next, uh, you can be my sub, sub, uh, successor. Rather, he shows, to, he shows to the thief that you can be my successor. That is the, the act of leadership as well. Then, the implication of the title. The title implies to, uh, to us, the title implies to the thief who eventually turned into a disciple of Sichui Kozon after his term in prison man. It also implies to us, um, implies that everyone has a, pre has a freedom to choose whatever you want in your life, as long as that decision is from your own free will. As what I have said, the, the title, uh, as what I have said, the title implies to the thief and Sichui Kojon, the, uh, to the thief who is a intruder who's, who gives, uh, who takes away the money of Sichui Kojon, and, and, and Sichui Kojon who is a monk or a Buddhist, then it also implies that every one of us has our freedom to act or to decide on our own free will. And that's it for th that's it for our discussion for t for today. I hope you uh, you understand my lessons, and I hope uh, you will give me your feedbacks in a comment section below. Thank you, and God bless.